Alright, there's a bone wolf right there. Get it. You know, I love that a little magic can turn you into a totally different person. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. They've got ogres on both sides protecting the Dushnik y'all. Anyway, let's find our way to this pure water run. And a brand new one. I just want to say I'm sorry for the people that you lost in White Run. I know, I mean, you knew them. You lived with them for years, so I'm, I'm so sorry. All right, let's keep going. Um, and if there's anything you need, or anything you need me to do, you just let me know. Just some madman. All right, let's go. Got it. All right, let's, uh, I think it's over this way. Here. Sorry for the wait. I'm ready if you are. Good. We cannot tarry for long. The situation may already be dire. Safety in numbers, Elf. You of all people should know that. Hopefully this overgrown mud crab you hired will know how to keep its mouth shut. Excuse me? Y'all better be paying good. Really good. So what are we doing? Are we going inside here? Um, am I supposed to go inside here? All right, whatever. Come on, bring your man. Hail ya, and the need. Mean of these. It's simple, if you remember the story of our ancestor. Oh, no. they, these things got to go. The face. Yeah. Everything else. What's this? Quicksilver. There is a dark elf in this very world who claims that with the right face, she can turn men. Wait a minute. And Nord's. Aren't you been ill? 
I am living proof of such sources. Oh, there are two of them. You're a monster, boy. And I will slay you like one. What's going on? Oh! So, wait, was this the guy that I got, I gave the sword to? Let's get going. Hold on. Let's go. Wait, I'm not understanding any of this. What? All right, so here's the sword. This is Pelgrim's sword again. So I've retrieved it now for the second time. There's a lot of invisibility potions. Letter to Varthon. I was watching your nephew was instructed, and I swear to kind he had the sword on his hilt. How do we know you ain't got the wrong one? Oh boy. So, I'm completely confused. Okay, do you have some answers for us? I apologize for the deception. I wasn't sure if you were one of Vartheim's agents. Are you... Are you Pelgert? <laughs> His uncle certainly believed as much. But no. While I did visit the face sculptor, it was only so I could match Wayne else. My real name is Sarah. I'm a distant cousin of Pelgert's. So what about the sword that I retrieved in Uttering Hill's cave? That was merely a trick to fool Vartheim's agents. When you retrieved the sword, the first thing the Nord did was meet Bay Nild in this very location. It was rather serendipitous that Valheim was working with a female high elf, because it allowed me to easily adopt her persona. So why alter your face to help your cousin? With Nords, one's ancestors can be kept alive through stories. But for we Orkney, it was only just yesterday that we lived it. I was but a child when the sword was given to my uncle's love, but I remember the sparkle of its edge was as bright as the midday sun. Then, as it is now, the blade serves as a symbol uniting our two families. Vartheim was planning on selling it for a cheap profit. And who is this face sculptor you spoke of? A dark elf named Itharl. She lives in a quiet barrow near Reachwood Erie. Fortunately, the practice was conspicuous enough to where Vartheim's spies would never catch wind of our trap. And what will you do now? Pelgert has already booked us passage on a ship heading to the Isle. He has never met the home of his better half, so it's incumbent upon his cousin to show him. He would have liked for you to have a reward. Here, take this gold for your troubles. And safe travels. Oh, well, thank you. A thousand gold. Requires a key. All right, well, I think we're done here. So, um, I think we're headed back to Solitude. What is, what is over here? There's something else here.
Forgotten ruins. All right, I'm heading back to solitude. One other assignment for us, and I'm not sure this involves us going into the the Castle Dawa dungeon. I don't know if there's any money involved in this one. You should see me with well, well, hopefully there is. The Excuse me, guards. Can a poor old beggar come through? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, All right, sir. this way. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause, it's a reward. What? Convince the guard to give me access to the jail cell. Okay. Hello, guard. get downstairs. Is there a staircase here somewhere? Oh, here we go. Hello, God. I stand with the Stormcloaks. You Imperial dogs will never break my will. Never! That talking about not having their the will broken or whatever. All right, I guess that's it. Hello, oh God. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Yeah, we all need to consider joining. I've, I've seen some terrible things. These vampires are really getting out of control. So, um, I need to inspect this cell. Can you open it for me? Okay, just this once. Thank you. These vampires are becoming a real menace. But there's nobody in here. I stand with the Stormcloaks. You Imperial dogs will never break All right. Kivan's note. What does this say? Fifteen men, a sunken treasure, and a lost ship. That's what I left behind. It took less than a day to sail to Blackbone Isle. Captain said we needn't worry about the cold, so we left the furs and packed the steel. 
Seemed like an odd thing. No one but us knew about this place. Still, didn't matter much as we were making good time. I reckon we were about a league away from the cave when all of a sudden the wind died. They came up behind us, sabers rattling like ice race. Next thing I hear is the screams. I jumped onto the skiff, cut the bastard loose, and started to paddle. Didn't have time to look back. Now time's all I got. Maybe if we had more men or a sodding priest, we could have made it. I've got the map at least. Hit it under a loose brick behind the bench. Just need to get out of this dungeon before the sickness takes me. Ulfric Stormcloak, okay. the rightful High King. <laughs> There's a loose the brick laugh. here. Alright, you block the guard's view. Alright. Find a spare boat to travel to Blackbone Isle. Damn Stormcloak rebels. Every one of them. I don't know about this. You want to go to an island? There's no telling what's on it. Where are the stairs? I think I saw a set over here. Around, rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the storm clothes. these daggers so I can enchant them. Where is Brynjuan? Come on now. I'm telling you, Ulfric's Let's planning go. an attack on Whiterun. He'd be in. All right, let's see if I can't get some spell books before we take on any other missions. She's not here, so let's hope she's in here. No, oh, there she is. I swear these Good evening. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Well, okay. I'm just going to ignore the rudeness, because I can tell that you're a special person with special abilities far beyond that of a mortal man or woman. So what have you got for sale? Take a look. All right, I want Paralyze. for anything else 782 wow thank you I know you know to watch my step around people like you so 
You can consider us for now on the same side. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. And you would know. All right, Brenuin. Let me read this book. is definitely increasing. So let's go outside here and look at the map and see where this aisle is. I guess it's going to show us where the boat is. What? Orphan's Tia. All right, well, I suppose we can head out that way. Come on. So there should be a spare boat. Yeah, I don't know if there are any more bandits. Let's be careful. Oh, I think I see some. Somebody there. Blackwater Blade absorbs 30 stamina. And what's this note say? The crew always ask me how we can be pirates if we ain't got no ship. And I tell them we're Blackwater brigands. We don't need no stinking ship. We can rob folks on land. And they ask me, but don't that make us bandits? And I tell them, good point. Maybe we should find us a ship. I've heard there's a grand old sea cow over at Black Moan Isle. Might even have more loot than the Golden Galleon. The one, the one the old Imperial Jews to tell stories when, about when I first joined up. From what I hear, the isle ain't too far from here. We could probably steal a boat from the wrecks up north. The problem is, no one's been to the isle in ages, and we ain't got a map. So the crew asked me, how are we going to find Blackbone Isle if we don't know where it is? And I tell them, shut up, I'm working on it. Okay. Let's see if they put more stuff in this chest over here. Oh, it's empty. Thank you. 
Okay. All right, Brynjolf, if you're ready. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Let's go. But there should be plenty of gold over here. A bone wolf. Hold on. Ah! Iron flesh. Ah! Is it dead yet? Not uh, signaling. Uh oh, there's another one. Look out. Yeah, I need to help you. All right, there's a bone wolf right there. Get it. You know. I love that a little magic can turn you into a totally different person. Okay, are there any more? You know this is a really bad sign. So I take it that there's gonna be what, necromancers or something in here? All right, if you're ready, I say we go inside. size of this place. All right, I'm gonna have to use invisibility. Please, I know you, you've got courage right now, but don't attack these people. Look at that. Oh no. Am I drunk? It's a I skeleton. must be drunk. Look, I got it. Skeletons. Come on. Silver ingots. I don't need to weigh myself down. All right, let's check the other side before we go in the cabin. See if there's any skeletons up here that might want to attack us. Clear. I don't know why they wouldn't have skeletons on this side. Okay. 
Okay. Scimitar. I don't know if you want something bigger. So this is interesting. So does this mean that there are red gods here? Oh, so we can go down. I think that's where we might need to go down on either side. Alright. I'm sorry I can't make you invisible too. These skeletons, are they sleep? Oh, they're not. They're not animated. There's a big chest of gold here somewhere. To make this worthwhile. Don't suppose we should ask why everybody on board the ship is dead.
empty. So oh, I'm wondering if the crew was all Red God. Or did they just favor scimitars? All right, now how do we get downstairs? See, it's over here. Right here. Very forgiving. Wait, what's this? Dagger. He's gonna get up. No, it's clear. And what does this backpack do? What does it take away? Yeah, the stamina again. All right, Captain's Journal. We set sail on Dead Man's dread in the summer to take advantage of calmer winds. Yet Kinnereth saw fit to throw us off course and now we find ourselves stranded in a fog with no sun or stars to guide us. The crew is blaming the young navigator Kavir for steering us into it. In truth, I only brought him on board because the old captain took ill and we were desperately short on men. One of the crew, Asif, said that he was once a priest of R.K. and used to perform the rites. He believes the former captain was murdered. I'll keep this between him and I until I know more. I kept the date by marking the back of this journal, but there are times I forget, and in truth, I don't know whether it's the 22nd of Hearthfire or the 1st of the New Year. But the cold is enough to tell us that winter is on its way. We'll need to find land soon, as the men are getting nervous. There's been three fights over rations in the past week. Worst yet, I'm starting to lose my head. There are times when I look and see the golden sands of Strauss Mackay on the curve of the horizon. 
I have to force myself to look away knowing there's nothing there. We finally manage to find land in this barren frost. The men are joyous. Based on the markings inside the grotto, it looks like we've reached Blackbone Owl. An old pirate den of all things. Many of us were corsairs before we pledged ourselves to the crown. So perhaps coming here was more than luck. Either way, we can't be far from the mainland now. We'll head south for Skyrim in the morning. We are a crew of dead men. This ship is our tomb. The entrance collapsed in the middle of the night, sealing us inside. Still, we might have found a way back to the shore had the forebear among us, Kavir, not sabotaged the skiffs. It's my crime as much as his, for I'm the one who brought him aboard. For his part, the forebear made no attempt to resist or escape. In fact, he readily admitted to the deed, as well as the death of our former captain. He wanted us to know exactly who it was he served, so that every crown would know that nowhere in Tamriel was safe. We put him in the brig and left him to rot. Some of the men wanted a more creative punishment, but the reality is there's no worse faith than the one he is, has doomed us to. The situation is dire. The food stocks are depleted, and half the men are crippled with fever. The crew have no delusions about what comes next, but we can still die with purpose. Before the old captain died, he told me that the saber on his wall belonged to Cyrus himself and that it was worth more than a thousand ships full of plunder. I never asked how he knew Cyrus or how he came upon his sword, but I know protecting the hero's legacy was important to him, and now that honor falls to us. I gave each man a choice. Some opted for the drink, others chose a more dramatic exit. As we depart, we will pray to Arke to bind our souls to the ship, just as Prince Ator was bound to a gem so many years ago. We will protect the relics of Cyrus and honor the crown. We will do in death what we could not do in life. Mm. So is this Cyrus Saber? Alright, this this is empty. Okay. Now, are these people gonna come alive and stop us? Look, they, these were red guards. If there was any doubt. Okay. I might have to have you carry some stuff. Look at this. These, these are actual clothes that Cyrus wore. Renewing. Oh, here he is. 
why did he run over here? Oh no, and look at the level. Look out. Let's see. Um. See the dead killing the dead. There. Bring you in. Hopefully that's it. And no more ghosts. Come on, let's go. Well, how do we get out of here? That's the question. Oh, here, up, upstairs. All right, here we go. Oh, no, you got to be kidding me. Said, bring you and come down here.
How you like that, ghost? Ghost, Captain. All right, thanks for distracting him. I suppose it was too much to hope that we were done with these ghosts. Now, I think, yeah, this is the way out. Come on, let's go. carrying too much yeah let's get going thank goodness you're here um need what to do you need some to take? things how much am i over wow really how did that happen look at all this stuff i need to sell You can have Cyrus Saber too. What do you need to take? Lead on. All right, I can move again. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready. Let's go. So, we didn't get a, a whole lot of gold, but we do have some very valuable things. Let's... Where are we going? I guess back to Solitude. And see if I can't scrounge up enough money for a few more spells. <laughs> 